Welcome to our channel. God's Grace. Are you feeling weighed down by life's battles? Are these tough times made you consider giving up the race? Some situations in life are so unpleasant that you sincerely hope they won't last another day. If you are experiencing disappointment, delay, or rejection, it doesn't matter. God has the power to turn things around, so there is no need to worry. Remember the widow of Zarephath, who was on the verge of starvation, and running out of supplies when there was famine in the land. 1 Kings 17:12 commences, As sure as the Lord your God lives, after the last meal. She replied, I don't have any bread except a handful of flour in a jar, little oil, and a jug. I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son, that we may eat it and perish. But you know, she didn't die and no one in her household died too. Until the famine's end, a supernatural supply was available. The sick man at the pool of Bethesda was there for 38 years. His encounter with Jesus was the end of his ailment. How old is your challenge? Your God is the Ancient of Days. Nothing is older than him and he will turn it around. There are so many illustrations where God turned things around. You are not alone. You do not need to consider that God has abandoned you. He has promised to keep you, He has promised to be with you to the very end. Hold on to God by His word, keep your faith alive. A day is too much a time for God to change the difficult times of your life. Do not lose faith, else you will lose everything. He will come over for you, He will come in His time. Just keep holding on to the one who cannot fail all the regrets of damage and sickness you see today. We shall see them no more. God is going to begin a new part of your life. Celebrate this, he'll arrive, and you'll affirm. Please like the video if you believe, and spread this with everyone who needs God's help. The next message contains something important that will help manifest abundance in your life. Please don't ignore it. God bless you.